Yes guys welcome back to the channel. Today we're having some settings on formation, controller and camera. I have received many comments demanding a defense tutorial, but I'm really sorry guys for delaying. Let's first have these settings and most especially formation. This will help you to improve your defense. Then soon we gonna have a defense tutorial of EAFC 24. So let's begin. Especially in the beginning of the game season always try and use basic formation. Then after learning the game you can switch. We have some good basic formations like 4231, 4 triple 2 and the 442. I use the 442 because right now I need those two strikers to build on. So let's jump on the tactics. The defense style you can go for press after possession loss. Since everyone right now wants to rush forward, here you can press immediately and win the ball and even score. But if you know you really struggle with defending, then I recommend you to go for balanced. The width I leave on 50 because this season wing play is good. And also central attack is overpowered due to controlled sprint. So set it on 50. Depth if you want to press and put pressure on your opponent, then go to around 60 or 70, but as the majority now struggles with defending, I recommend you to go with 40, anything above 45 will automatically trigger tight marking, your players will automatically mark the opponent's players and put on more pressure, meaning they will automatically move out of their positions, but if you fail to win the ball and the opponent breaks that press, then the opponent can easily break your defense and even you will concede in many cases. So if you struggle to defend go with 40 to keep everything basic. Build up play you can go for long ball, but if you're not good at maintaining possession then go with balanced. Chance creation go with forward runs because that's the meta right now, pace in EAFC 24 is so overpowered. Since this formation is basic, then width set it on 50. Players in the box I always go with 4, but you can add up to 5 or 6. Then lastly corners 2 and free kicks 1. So let's see on the section of instructions. Both of my fullbacks I instruct them to stay back while attacking in overlap. The reason is pace. Once the opponent gets in behind it's hard to recover. Then the goalkeeper I set him on come for crosses and sweeper keeper. Because crosses are overpowered this season. My two midfielders I set them on stay back while attacking and cover center. I switch back to balanced only if when I'm losing and I want to make a comeback. But I begin the match with stay back while attacking. The two wingers I set them on comeback on defense to support the fullbacks, then get in behind, because it's always abusing the mechanics, you want them to create those runs in behind. The two strikers I instruct them on stay central, get in behind as the meta and stay forward, they will always make deadly runs in behind the opponent's defense, and here you can take through balls and score many goals. Now on the interesting part of controller settings, first of all when playing this game I recommend you to set your controller on classic, that's what the majority use and that's what I use. Then after go to the game settings, and this is where you set in game features and styles. If you're a fun of online mode the competitive setting is on by default and you can't change that. Then shooting assistance we have this new feature, the precision shooting, here the aiming is manual, but the AI will help you with power, I personally don't recommend this by now, I have to first test it. Timed finishing set it on, this is also meta on this game. You score 9 out of 10 attempts using the timed finishing setting. Everything here like through pass, lob through pass and ground pass leave them as they are. Then the cross assistance set it on semi, here you can manually cross the ball to the far post, near post and the middle. Pass receiver lock set it on late, then the precision pass sensitivity, if you don't know what this is then we shall also have a video about it. So set it on high. On defending clearance assistance set it on classic, I find directional very disturbing. Here sometimes you can accidentally clear the ball back into play, so set it on classic the game knows the safest way to send the ball. Then they have introduced another defending style on the game after removing the legacy defending, advanced defending is new on the game, but since soon we gonna have a defense tutorial, I shall explain it in that video. Pass block assistance should always be on. Then the switching I personally go with only on loose balls because that's what I'm used with, but for you guys I recommend air balls, this will work best for you. Auto switch move assistance set it on low, you can use none if you are sure your defense is good, then right stick switch has to be classic, anything like player rotation and adaptive are too slow. Preference leave it on player relative. Then the right stick switching sensitivity, here the default is 4, but I personally go with 5, but still 4 is not bad. Next player switching set it on closest to ball, I have seen many people go with classic which is okay, but on my side it's closest to ball. Player lock has to be on obviously, icon switching don't bother it has to be off. Orbit dribbling the new feature, 
I haven't find any way to use this feature, so for now let's leave. Now everything from analog sprint should be off. Here we have some icons visible in the game which we have to switch off because they destruct, like player styles plus, these icons which shows the player's best ability like dribbling. Then if you don't want next player switch indicator you can switch it off, but if you feel like you need it then leave it on. The camera settings I think co-op is still the best camera on the game, for a better view of the pitch and players. Then you turn off this power shot zoom camera. So that's it guys, soon we gonna have a defense tutorial.